Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are outside. I love filming outside. The lighting's a little weird. I couldn't get it better without having the sun blinding me in the face, but I think it will do. So I am going to get started on the video. This is a product review video. I love doing these videos for you guys. Actually, they're more for me. I really love doing these videos because I have a lot of fun with them and I love watching these kinds of videos. These are one of my favorite videos to watch too. So Let's get started. The first product I want to talk about is this La Coes. It is their Revitalized Nutrient Organic Face Oil. This product was sent to me for free and it is incredibly luxe. It looks like this, um, obviously. And when you open it, it presents this way. I should have had this turned forward so that it was all well prepared. And just take this out and it has this beautiful frosted glass look to it. And this lid right here is real wood so you can see it's not perfect and that's because it's actually real wood and it also came with this white jade gua sha so I had never used gua sha before and I had heard that you have to be really careful so I looked up some videos I will link a video in the description box below about how to use gua sha on your face because if you don't use it properly you can actually cause a little bit of damage and some bruising so there's a video by Gothamista that that I really like. She does a really good job explaining how to use it. But anyway, came with this white jade gua sha, which is very, very nice as well. This product, like I said, is quite luxe. It is. It makes me feel really, really fancy. It does have a price tag to match. The oil is $108 retail, and then the gua sha is $23 retail. I'm gonna get into everything I think about it, and it's gonna be a perfectly honest review, but if you are interested after the review, I do have a code in the description box below where if you purchase this, you'll get the white jade gua sha for free. And I do get, uh, I think it's 20% if you use the code. So just to be completely upfront about that. But my thoughts on this are that this is, I just can't stop using the word Lux to describe it. When I use it, it feels great going on. It absorbs really well and it works beautifully. Any facial oil would really work beautifully with a gua sha. So I'm gonna say that. I also wanna say there's one thing about it and although like smelling it right now, it's just divine. But when I use it, Personally, there is one tiny lingering scent and I can't put my finger on what it is. It is loaded with all kinds of amazing oils. I think it's the carrot root actually. I think that's what it might be. So it's like one tiny lingering scent where I don't love it, but I love the overall smell, but there's just one little element of it where I'm like, what is that? But we all have different scents that we love and we hate. So most people probably wouldn't even pick up on it. That's just something that I hope I'm smelling it right now. Like I said, it's just amazing. It has a really good smell. So this is made in small batch in Portland, Oregon. So it's made in the US and they use all kinds of really high quality ingredients from all over the world. So that's why it has kind of a high price tag and the packaging is just also very beautiful. You can tell they put a lot of time and energy into designing the package and it has all kinds of amazing ingredients as I mentioned. So there's jojoba seed oil, rosehip oil, camellia seed oil, argan oil, chia seed oil, prickly pear oil, avocado oil, sea buckthorn oil, evening primrose oil, vitamin E, carrot root, pomegranate oil, grapeseed oil, lavender oil, rosemary oil. Ooh, maybe it's the rosemary and the carrot kind of combined that leave a lingering scent that I don't personally love because I actually don't personally love rosemary. So that could be it. Uh, and then it ends with jasmine flower extract though. And that is actually my favorite flower simply because of the scent. I love jasmine flower. So it is a wonderful, beautiful product. And if you you ever wanted to try gua sha this is a very very nice beautiful one i love the white jade look to it too so thank you very very much la coes for sending that to me to try i am six months pregnant and i feel it okay so we're gonna dive into the rest. The rest are products that I purchased on my own and I'm going to tell you just as honest reviews about these products as I did about the La Coes. Please don't ever think I will lie to you. I was very, very forthright with the La Coes review. So the first one I'm going to talk about, I think I'll, I have hair care and skin care here. So the first one I'll talk about is this Living Proof No Frizz Intense Moisture Mask. And this is silicone free. I have used 
several living proof products and this one is not my favorite i will not repurchase it it does have that signature while well, we were talking about scents so much it does have that signature living proof scent that i really really love it is just a very fresh high quality salon kind of scent that makes you feel fancy when you use it the mask itself though it is silicone free and as somebody with curly hair i'm supposed to prefer silicone free products but i actually think that silicones have a place in hair care so i really dislike products that don't have silicone. I think that we can use silicone and of course be mindful of the fact that they'll be building up in our hair, but then use a clarifying shampoo on a regular basis. So for me, silicones just give my hair that like really silky feeling, that illusion that my hair feels healthier than it probably is. And I like that feeling. So this doesn't have silicones in it and it doesn't give me that feeling. And so that's one of the main reasons I think that I dislike it. It didn't feel like a really nourishing hair mask when I used it. It felt like an okay hair conditioner. And so I used it to use it up. I actually have another one. Maybe I'll put it in a giveaway, maybe what I just like, you know, somebody else will love and I'll put it into a giveaway or something like that, or maybe give it to my sister to see what she thinks. But anyway, I have another one to use up. So that's my thoughts on this. There's a butterfly. So that's my thoughts on this. If you're curious, Living Proof is cruelty free, but a few years back they sold to Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free. So depending on how much you pay attention to that, I thought that might be a little bit of helpful information for you to know. So that's that. If you do follow Curly Girl though, and you like to avoid silicones, this could be for you let me know maybe I'll send you the other one okay the next thing I'm gonna talk about and this is hands down not cruelty free this is chlorine and I wouldn't have purchased this this I actually got in a mystery bundle with that bit fun so I wouldn't have purchased this but it does have really really good reviews people say really good things about this this is the chlorine soothing and anti-irritating shampoo with peony and their corresponding conditioner soothing and anti-irritating gel conditioner with peony so that's what they look like people say great things I think this is available at Ulta. I'm pretty sure it still is. I know I saw it there once. And it is, like it says, soothing and anti-irritating. So if you have a sensitive and irritated scalp, then this would be something that you might want to explore. I've seen people just say wonderful things about it. I thankfully don't have that issue, so I don't really need it for that reason. So it's not serving me in that way. So I don't think that this is just for me as a an individual so for me it's fine it's a fine shampoo and conditioner duo and i do like the scent though it is very subtle which it should be because if you have sensitive skin you don't want too much fragrance but there is fragrance in this so that kind of confuses me i'm kind of curious how that could be good for a sensitive scalp sorry there's a helicopter going by Sorry for all the ambient noise. I'm just realizing outside we get ambient noise. So the conditioner is good too. It is a gel conditioner, which is a little unusual, but it is it works great. I am going to use it up. It's just not really a product that's for me. One, because chlorine is just not cruelty free. And then two, because it's not targeted for my skin type or hair type. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Mon Shampooing Personalized Hair Care Hair Mask. This is made in Paris so it makes me feel a little bit fancy because of that and it says it's uh, with keratin and goji berry for all hair types enriched with fig and flower scent and I would say that the goji berry fig and flower scent is a very very accurate description for the way it smells it smells very good I like it and it has this interesting gel consistency I'm not sure if that comes across whoops oh close call okay so <laughs> and it definitely this one does have silicones in it so that's probably one of the reasons I like it a lot I really like this I repurchased this and I am amazed at how well I think it works if you are an ingredient person though there are some ingredients that you might not be into there's a peg which is up for debate how bad that is for us to be used topically and then it's obviously fragranced and then it has silicone so if you're a silicone person otherwise I don't see anything that's jumping out at me as something that you might want to avoid oh it has phenoxyethanol which can be an irritant can be a skin irritant it's a preservative but for me it works just fine I'm okay with these ingredients at this point in my life and with this hair mask I the first time I used it I was just so impressed I put it in and it was almost like my hair detangled itself. It just, I was able to run my fingers right through my hair and it was amazing. So 
I like this hair mask a lot. It's not my favorite that I've ever used. Oh, you can see my bruise. I got my blood drawn and the phlebotomist used a vein that I never have any other phlebotomist use. And this happened, I took a picture that way. If I ever go back and anyone dares to try to touch that vein, I won't let them again. Anyway, I just saw that you could see that. So that's what that is. This isn't my favorite hair mask that I have ever used though. I think that my favorite hair mask is the Living Proof Restore hair mask. It's the Restore line, the one that's a light purple container. I've used the shampoo and conditioner from that line as well and I didn't like it as much but the hair mask I've talked about it before and that hair mask is amazing when I use that hair mask I almost get like that feeling like I just freshly cut my hair it's so it makes my hair feel so healthy probably loaded with silicones <laughs> okay so that's that I love this hair mask what else do we have for hair this this is an empty, and it's true what they say, this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. You can get this at TJ Maxx, it's all over the place, and it is, I haven't used a lot of dry shampoo. I don't tend to get very greasy hair very quickly, so I don't go through dry shampoo very quickly. Only if I'm trying to stretch a blowout for like over a week or maybe two weeks do I get into using a lot of dry shampoo. But it is true what they say, like I said, this is amazing, and it, I, I haven't used another dry shampoo that seems to come close to making my hair feel like it isn't a week out from a wash. So I do like this a lot. I repurchased it. And they do have a brunette one, which I haven't been able to find. I haven't searched very hard for it. So there's that. So I just rub out the white cast and it's no problem. Okay, now I have a hand cream. So this is the Dermalect Timeless Anti-Aging Daily Hand Treatment. And this is a great hand cream so there's just one thing that kind of bothers me about it and it's the scent that seems to be a theme in this video is fragrance and it's practically unscented but there's something in it that has a slight fragrance of like I, all I can think is tires but it's so subtle and it fades after just a few minutes because it's that subtle so it's not that it's not that bad I do find this to be a really fast absorbing lotion which is nice for a hand cream and fairly effective. I have dry skin so I like the hand creams that actually take a little longer to absorb because I feel like I just get more payoff with how moisturized my skin feels after using them but a lot of people I feel like a majority of people want a fast absorbing hand cream because they want to be able to put it on and then be able to do stuff right away so this is fairly fast absorbing there's more fast absorbing but like I said I think that the more fast absorbing they are the less effective they are at moisturizing our skin so this is fairly fast absorbing almost unscented and I think it works really well so if you like unscented almost unscented and fast absorbing hand creams this would be good for you I do like this I do recommend it and it has a fruit enzyme in it so it's a little bit of an exfoliant as well so it's it's good it has peptides also good for anti-aging it's good it's good hand cream okay let's get into more skincare let's talk about these empties that I have this is the Basha berry blend smoothing facial with 28% acid complex so Basha, I think Basha, their name I read, it stands for Botanical Science. They just made a, con a contraction, contraction, conjunction, contraction, contraction, I think. Contraction are those words. So Botanical Science, and they threw an A on it, basically. So they're all about using natural ingredients, which is something that I love. I'm a sucker for. And this smells, it smells like fruit. It just smells like fruit, slightly, slightly fermented. But maybe it's just because it's old and it's empty, I can't quite recall, but it smells like fruit, like berry. And it is a very intense AHA exfoliant. So it's a chemical exfoliant that uses fruit enzymes to slough off old dead skin cells. And you leave it on for 20 minutes and you use it one to two times per week. And when I use this, it tingles. I actually feel it tingling and working. And then when I wash it off, which we'll talk about that a little bit, I do feel like my skin is glowing and I do a really nourishing skincare routine afterward to make sure that my skin kind of recovers well from being chemically exfoliated. I do like a soothing gel mask and then I do a very hydrating nighttime routine after I use this. And it is very effective. I like this one a lot. So what I was going to say about the um, washing this off, off is it's so funny it has this really it's sticky but not in like an annoying way in a way that like it like really clings to your face is what I mean like it doesn't feel like sticky like ew it's on my fingers sticky but it takes 
a long time to wash off. So you definitely need a washcloth or something like that to help get it off or you need to be stepping into the shower right when you're ready to wash it off because it takes some time and some effort to get it off. I think it's a highly effective chemical exfoliating mask. Chemical exfoliating, chemical exfoliant mask baby brain. It's so funny. I wanted to put on a cute shirt and I don't really have any and this is not a maternity top. You guys got to see this. I'm going to show you. Look, look. I'm just, I'm six months pregnant. So I'm just bulging out. Okay. Anyway, there's that little fun bit of information. So the next thing I have another empty here. This is the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. This is what the container looks like. I really like the container. It has some weight to it, so it just feels like it's high quality. It's so funny how like the packaging can give us the illusion that the product inside is better than it is. I'm not saying this is a bad product. This is a good product. I have good things to say about it. The company Derma E is 100% vegan, GMO free, eco-ethical, and cruelty free. So if that speaks to you, this is is definitely a line of products you might want to look into. They're av available at Target and they're actually quite affordable. I think this runs like $20 to $25 at Target or you probably find it on Amazon as well. And I think they're at Ulta. I think they're also at Ulta, probably also at Walmart. I'll put links to everything in the description box below. And I did like this a lot. It was a very good nourishing hydrating night, night cream. This is also almost sun scented, but there's a slight bubblegum scent to it which was very surprising when I started using it even my husband borrowed it he doesn't use night cream but he borrowed it because his skin was extra dry and he said the same thing very very slight bubblegum fragrance to it but this is a good night cream affordable and I would recommend giving it a shot if you're looking into exploring something that fits this description so I finished that night cream and this is the next night cream I'm using this is the grown alchemist Detox Night Cream with Peptide 3 Echinacea and Reishi Extract. I don't know what Reishi Extract is. I'll put it across the screen. But I have used this about three times now, and it's a wonderful, wonderful night cream. It isn't cheap. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. I didn't pay that much, anywhere near that much. I got it through a BoxyCharm sale, and it is definitely well worth what I paid for it, more than worth what I paid for it. It was on a blowout sale. So I do recommend this, but I do recommend trying to find it at a cheaper price. I don't think it's quite worth the retail price tag, but it is a great night cream. Barely any scent, maybe a slight botanical scent, but otherwise I don't really smell anything else when I use it, and it does does feel very very nourishing and I like this a lot I used it on its own too, just to see how well it worked on its own because usually I put on night cream after I put on a facial oil just to lock in the facial oil and then really get good and moisturized so I used it alone and alone it did a really good job as well so I definitely like and recommend this the last thing I'm going to talk about is the glow recipe banana souffle moisture cream this is what it looks like I think glow recipe is just a really darling brand. It's just so cute and adorable. I've used one other thing of theirs and that was the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is a very good serum. And I like this a lot. I've used it once. I was kind of skeptical because it does smell like bananas. And I asked my friend, she's using it, and I asked her how much she thinks and she said that she liked it a lot. She'd been using it in the morning. And I thought, okay, I'll give it a try in the morning. That sounds like a great idea because I don't want to, when I put on something that's really fragrant that bothers me and I'm trying to fall asleep, it actually kind of keeps me from falling asleep. So I used it in the morning and the banana scent lingers for a few minutes and then it's just gone. And this is actually very fast absorbing as well. Souffle moisturizers, generally speaking, are better for people with oilier skin because they tend to be more lightweight moisturizers. So it is a lightweight, fast absorbing moisturizer. That was the impression I have, but my skin also drinks up moisturizers because I have dry skin. I had a hair on me, excuse me. It spooked me, I thought there was a bug. I haven't tested this under makeup, so I don't know what it wears like under makeup, but I do think that she's onto something. My friend was on some something using it as a day cream. So I'm going to keep using it. My first impression is good, it's positive. I Will update you on what I think about this as I use it as usual with most of my products. So there's that. I don't hands down recommend it yet, but so far so good. 
Okay, and that's it. That's my product review video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't already. Say hello in the comments below. I would love that and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.